Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your luxury all-inclusive experts, and today we're at the beautiful Dreams Natura Resort and Spa. And we're actually here before it even opens. It's such a unique thing that they opened it up to us, and they're letting us check out all the spaces to show you what everything is all about. Now this is a beautiful setting here. You've got the mangroves behind me, and the entire setting is dedicated to nature. That's the theme of the resort, and you're gonna find that as soon as you walk in and see the beautiful ocean as you walk around the resort and check out the incredible spa. You're gonna love that coming up. Now, one of the things I love about this particular resort is that you're pretty close to the Cancun Airport. It's very convenient for that. It's also a resort that is wrapped around a horseshoe, uh, so everything is kind of in together in one spot, and my family really loves that because we can access all of the restaurants, the teen club, the kids club, the incredible water park, the pools, all without having to go too far. So the family can always come back together and find each other. It's a really, really beautiful space and I can't wait to show it with you. So follow along as I show you this resort. So set just below this beautiful staircase, you have the huge, huge outdoor pool area here. So the first thing that we're gonna counter is this really beautiful pond. Now, something that I, I really appreciate that they, they paid attention to was, of course, the name is Natura, and they really want you to feel like you're in nature, even though you're in a large resort. And this is one of those touches where you can really see it. So they've got this beautiful koi pond here. The kids, of course, are gonna love the fish. It's very soothing. They've got the beautiful furniture set all around it. But one of the things that I'm instantly impressed with is the way that they've able, been able to take a resort that's this brand new and have the foliage this size and really feel like it's incorporated into the entire resort. You've got the mangroves on the back side of the resort. Of course, you have the beautiful, beautiful Caribbean Sea directly in front, and they've really encompassed nature so you get that feel. So this is the first of the pools that we're gonna be encountering. This is a family pool. So it's open to every member of the family. You can see they have different kinds of seating all the way around. Of course, there's all of the loungers, but what I really like is they've created this shallow shelf all the way around the pool where you have the loungers in the pool themselves. I don't know about you, but I love that because it keeps it a little bit cooler and then you put your feet in the water. One other great touch is in the middle, they have created this island and all the way around the island, there's more bench seating as well. So the whole resort is kind of divided up into activities, primarily on one side of the pool area. And then on the other side, you have more relaxation. Now this is more of the relaxation area. And then it continues on down to the adults only pool. So now we're here at the adults only pool. And as much as I love my family, and of course this is a family friendly resort, sometimes it's nice just to get away a little bit and be an adult. Of course, they have fantastic kid, kids' facilities. They have the kids' club, the water slides. We'll see that in just a minute. But this is the place where you go to hang out and be adult. And what better place to be an adult at an all-inclusive resort than a beautiful swim-up bar? So the Bar Manatees is the signature swim-up bar here, just like at other Dreams properties. And then on the other side, you have another one of those signatures, which is the Bar Akuda. You can't have a beach front all-inclusive without a fantastic beach bar. And of course, those are gonna extend service. So the Bar Akuda is gonna extend down onto the beach. You can get all your drink service there. And then up here, you can get service all the way around the pool areas. So you have a ramp on this side, stairs on the other, headed on down to the beach. Just wanted to point out before we get down there, right over here to the right, you have a shower. So this is perfect for washing that sand off before you head back on up. But before we head it down, I just wanna point over here to the left. This is actually the presidential suite. You have your own yard right on the ocean front. So if you have a moment, make sure that you check out all of our tours of the rooms and the suites. In fact, we even have that exact suite. It's pretty amazing, but it really connects it all together so you can see what's inside as well as outside. So throughout the beach, you have all kinds of different seating and different furniture. It's very eclectic, like throughout the whole, whole resort. In fact, right here is, uh, well, I think it's where my wife puts me when I snore too loud, but just a nice little fun space. You can put some chairs in here, of course, uh, a little bit later, but I know my daughter absolutely loves to have little places like this where you can hide away from everything else and really just have a great time. So now we're down on the beach. You can see you've got the palapas right here to the left. They're all over spread out throughout the entire beach. So you have that shade with the loungers. Once again, you do have that bar service down here. They also have bali beds set up, but uh, what's, what's great about this beach is it's a fantastic one, especially for the families to come down, you know, play, play in the sand and have that complimentary piece to the pools. So now we're on to our next pool. This particular one is a wading pool. So it's really, really shallow, perfect for the smaller kids. And once again, they have every single age group, kind of a space dedicated specifically to them. And this is one of those ones for toddlers. So really appreciate that having just traveled a lot with my daughter at that particular age. Now, just behind it, you can see as the kids get a little bit older, they're gonna absolutely love the water slides. Here they have three water slides, which is great, uh, gives that diversity of options, but also allows for more opportunities. 
So now continuing towards the beach, you're gonna find their iconic oceanfront infinity pool. It is a huge infinity pool. In fact, it encompasses almost two thirds of the entire beach area right here. So throughout the whole infinity pool, once again, you have these narrow shelves where you can have the loungers in the water itself and unbelievable views from those loungers, the ones set just above and behind. But really what this is all about is taking that cocktail, heading right over to that beautiful, beautiful iconic view and just taking it all in. So now we're over to the side of the infinity pool and wrapping all the way around to the corner of the property, you're gonna have a large jacuzzi tub right here. Just wanted to point out there is one on the opposite end of the property as well in the adults only area if you want that, uh, that more quiet adult experience. So if you're looking for refreshments or food while you're down at the pool, you have the Sugar Reef Bar right here. Of course, they provide service to all of the loungers in the area, but right next to it, you're gonna find the Barefoot Grill. So this is gonna be classic pool food, a nice mix of American and Mexican, and in a in addition to that, one unique feature is they actually have a brick pizza oven right here. It's one of two on the property. We're gonna see the other one in the Italian restaurant when we show you that. So making sure that every member of the family has an incredible time is a huge part of a family-friendly all-inclusive. And that's one of the things that I think they did a great job at here at this property. You can see behind me, they have a ton of stuff dedicated to the kids and for those, well, like me, young at heart. So just behind me, you're gonna find the rock climbing wall. So there's actually four different stages, four different levels of rock climbing. So you can get the younger kids all the way up to the older teens and adults. And then in the middle, you have a water park that's dedicated to the smaller kids. So you've got the smaller slides, the big splash buckets, and then all of the uh, splash pad, the jets coming up in every direction. They absolutely love that. But one of my favorite features anytime is always gonna be a lazy river. And they've managed to put a lazy river in and incorporate it around. It's about 700 feet long, so pretty good. And then one interesting feature about this one is it's more, uh, I think, dedicated to the, the family than to the uh, lazy relaxation part. They've got these great waterfall stations throughout the entire lazy river and then other pieces of the puzzle. But once again, with the three large water slides and that plus the core teen zone and the Explorers Club, they've really dedicated an enormous amount of time and energy to the kids to make sure that they have an amazing time. And we know if they're having a great time, the parents are as well. One super cool thing that I really wanted to point out is this roll glider aerial ride. I've never seen anything like this at an all-inclusive. It's kind of maybe a mix between a zip line and a roller coaster, and it wraps all the way around this kid zone area. Uh, once again, just another fantastic fun thing to do that you can check out while you're here. So just behind the splash pad, you're gonna find the Explorers Club. But before we got back here, I just wanted to point out, this is a continuation of the Lazy River. And it's actually pretty cool. I don't know that I've ever seen one like this where it's indoor, outdoor, essentially. They've got these beautiful murals on the wall. And then once again, you kind of going all the way around, but it's, it's, it's really, truly a Lazy River, not one of those really small ones. So now we're inside the Explorers Club. This is for kids three to 12 years old. It's a drop-off service. So right over here to my left is actually where you're gonna check the kids in. Make sure that you come the first time with any adults that are gonna check them in or out and they'll get that all set up for you. But when you come on in, you can see this space is dedicated to the kids. You've got the restrooms on the other side there inside the space itself. I appreciate that. And then over here, you've got a video game area or maybe even watching movies. They've got these brand new bean bags all throughout the entire place. So you can move those around and sit wherever you want. Now, right here in the middle, you're gonna find all of the craft tables. That's a classic thing that they do here at the Explorers Club, all kinds of different coloring, crafts, things along those lines. And in addition, they'll also take them outside, take advantage of the splash pad, the pool, and they also take care of food. So kids can have snacks or lunch while they're part of the kids, the, the Explorers Club here. Continuing on through the space, just for point of reference, the Lazy River wraps just around behind this here. And now we are in the final space. You've got these great little teepees. Of course, I know my daughter, she's four years old right now. She absolutely loves hanging out and she even has one at home. You've got these comfy nooks. Over here, you've got uh, all the bean bags set up here, uh, but you've got bench seating that faces this stage. So the stage can be set up for several different things. You've got a screen that drops down here for movie time with uh, the, the projector just above, but it's also used for all kinds of other activities and fun skits and things that will be put together by the counselors. So now we're inside the core teen zone. This is on the opposite side of the property as the uh, Explorer Club. So you can see they have that separated out as a middle school teacher. I totally understand that. And I also appreciate that they have a large space dedicated specifically to teenagers. Now this is one of those spaces that they're just finishing off some of the construction, so we can't show all of it to you, but right here what you're gonna see is you got the video game stations. There's four of them set around here with little partitions. Really new, modern, and funky furniture. In front of me, you're gonna have a billiards table. They got multiple ping pong tables, and they even have a basketball hoop for them to have a little bit of competition. 
Now over here, this is set up for more video games and then also doubles as a dance floor when they have disco parties. They're gonna have different activities throughout them for them throughout the day. And then continuing on, some more classics. You've got your air hockey right here, your foosball table, and then right here is where one of the ping pong tables will go as well. So appropriately placed right outside the core zone tea club, you're gonna find the most Instagrammable spot on the property. So if you wanna summon your inner butterfly, feel beautiful, or well, just take a cool selfie, there we go. So now we're in the heart of the Dreams Spa by Pavonia. It's a partnership that they've had for quite a while and they do really well. Now right behind me is the check-in area. They're gonna have a full array of retail in here for you to choose from. And I'm often told that it does cost less expensive when you're down here. You can check that out for yourself. Now if you wanna actually check it out for yourself, right here they have a, kind of a, a skin testing bar where you can test out different kinds of products and they're gonna make suggestions that may work perfectly for you. So now I'm just inside the locker room. This is the men's locker room. It's pretty much almost the same on both sides for the ladies as well. Just to the left, after you check in, they're gonna give you a locker, they're gonna give you everything that comes along with that, which is gonna be your robe and uh, slippers or flip-flops. Over here to my right, you have a private changing room. And then as we continue along, you're gonna enter the area where you would get ready. So, you know, before or after your treatment, you've got your sinks just here. Continuing along to the, to the left, You've got the showers over here. One little touch that I really like is that they actually have a bench seat included. So it's not just the shower, you've got your rainforest shower head of course here, but a nice little bench and then a place to put your stuff. The final space I wanted to point out is the sauna. So in the locker room setting, they only have one in the men's locker room, but there is a shared sauna outside as well. As soon as you exit the locker rooms, you are transported into another place altogether. This beautiful relaxation area and hydrotherapy zone is a marvel, it's absolutely spectacular. And they continued what they were doing throughout the property. The whole concept here is nature. It's in the name of the property itself. And this area down here, the, na the most natural geographical feature around this area is a cenote. And so they designed it to look exactly like that. And they added several different elements of calming and relaxation. There's air conditioning down here, so you get that humidity from all the water, but you have that nice cooler touch. And as we continue along, you can really see what this space is all about. So this is the relaxation zone. You have several chairs where you can sit and relax. You also have individual loungers that are divided up. You all, there's uh, tables right next to them. You can take advantage of the revived bar, have a nice tea or maybe a juice. But as you continue on through the space, you can see this is where it opens up like a cenote. You've got glass up above me there, this beautiful rock and water feature. This is really, really unique and it's beautiful. So just between the relaxation zone and the hydrotherapy, you're also gonna find the revived bar. This is where you're gonna have SMA stacks and refreshments throughout the day. So there's a couple extra, what I would call bonus experiences down here, once again, tied into bringing you into nature. So they have this moving art. What it is, is a really nice, large projection screen here. You have a seat, sit back. They're gonna have sounds in here. So essentially, you're brought into nature. You've got the beautiful butterflies floating in front. But the whole idea is to disconnect with everything else outside and just bring yourself to be in that Zen mindset. So before we headed into the hydrotherapy area and the treatment rooms, I just wanted to point out this cool feature called the pantry. It is an additional cost, but if you've ever wanted to create your own aromatherapy or body scrub, you can do that right here. They have a wide array of different ingredients that you can choose to put in there, including Taylor's favorite sandalwood. I'm a bigger fan of that, uh, the lemongrass and lavender myself, but you can utilize that here at, at the spa with your treatment, or you can take it home with you as a souvenir. Now we're in the heart of the hydrotherapy area. Now this is something that you can come and take advantage of for a separate cost, or if you take a treatment, this is going to be included for you. Now the whole concept here is to relax, loosen up the body, alternate back and forth between warm and cold, and essentially get yourself centered. So over here to my left, you've got bubble loungers all throughout the pool. There's two really nice ones here. You've got a double over there to the left. On the far side, you have three inset areas where you've got jets surrounding you on all sides. You've got the large waterfall here, and then the extra pressure hydrotherapy that's gonna loosen up your back. I really need that right now, and we'll be in there later whenever I can, for sure. And then over on the side, you have a couple other jets as well. But together, this is a really, really large circuit. And continuing on, you've got the jacuzzi hot tub and the cold plunge pool. You can alternate back and forth between those as well. 
Set just behind, you're gonna have two showers. These are two different experience showers. You've got the large rainforest shower. You also have the bucket. It's always nice after you get out of that really, really hot sauna, pull the bucket and uh, cool off a little bit. And then you also have a sauna and steam room. So the whole idea behind this is to kind of alternate back and forth as you go, move throughout the circuit and just continue on with the relaxation. One really cool and very unique feature about this particular spa are these really large VIP treatment room areas. So they're perfect for a, a couple. If you wanna set up the two massages, you've got pedicure stations here. You also have that apothecary once again where you can create your own scents, your own uh, different body scrubs to utilize throughout. But this space can also be utilized for family treatments or maybe you have a couple of kids and you wanna have a, you know, a girl's day or you know, dad spa day, whatever it is. This could be perfect for that. They even have an extra large jacuzzi tub over here and that waterfall is really, really nice. But what you essentially have is everything that they offer from the spa right here in your own private space. Now right here you can see the two massage tables. Just over here you also have a really, really, really large shower. Walk in with the two rainforest shower heads up above. But you can customize several different experiences for this particular spa villa. It's just really, really awesome. This is one of the single treatment rooms here. In fact, a majority of them are just like this, set up very simply. You've got your sink over here. You have a full shower uh, chair over in the corner to get ready, but this is what it's all about. Of course, you can get massages. My personal favorite is the hot stone massage, but they also have deep tissue, several other different varieties. They also have facials and other kinds of body treatments. But if you've ever had a massage at a Dreams or Secrets, you know the very happy, sad sound that everyone ends with. Mm. But it was good. So right next to the spa, you're gonna find the gym. As soon as you come in here on the left, you've got your bikes, several ellipticals, and being 6'6", I really appreciate that, uh, oh yeah, got plenty of clearance here for all the time I spend at the gym, as you know. You've got your spinning bikes over there in the corner, a rowing machine, you've got all, several different kinds of circuit machines. So you've got some over the far side here for arms and legs. And as we continue along, you have treadmills all along the front here, looking out at the garden view. In addition, they're gonna have several different kinds of exercise balls. They have stretching mats and things like that. But one unique feature is that they actually have yoga set up in the garden area. They also have yoga down on the beach. So it's not all in here. Just to finish it off, over here you've got your dumbbells, you also have your Smith machine, so you can get a full workout in here if you like. And let's see. Ah! Yep, done for the week. So set just in the middle of all of the pools, you're gonna find the Blue Water Grill. It has this beautiful terrace out here. I actually love it. I think the furniture is really, really well picked out and designed. And you've got a mix of you know, the two top tables. You can put them together, of course, for family seating, larger six and eight. And then these also really nice, comfortable loungers out here. But heading on inside, you can really see how the transition goes from an indoor outdoor grill. Inside, you've got a continuation of it. And in the far back, you've got booths as well. But of course, from every single table, you can look out and see the beautiful blue water. Now this particular restaurant during the day is open for lunch. It's also open for dinner in the evening. During lunch, you're gonna find different kinds of grill and seafood classics. And then later on in the evening, you get more into being a steakhouse type feel um, with steaks and also seafood as well. One little touch that I wanted to point out that is of course being a family resort, they're gonna have high chairs. They have all of the things that you could possibly need when traveling with kids. So just on top of the Blue Water Grill, you find this extra large terrace here. It's set right in the middle of the pool area, so you get these great views of the entire property all the way around. And then in front of us is, of course, the beautiful ocean view. Now, you can utilize this space for several different functions, whether you're setting it up for a wedding or you're using it for a private group or reception. This could be an ideal option for you. So now we're inside the World Cafe. This is the classic buffet option for breakfast and lunch. And those of you who travel with families know that it's really nice to be able to go in and have a buffet option like this where you can kind of grab and go whatever it is that you want. And something they did here was make this a huge space with a ton of different kinds of seating. They've gone all in with the decor. In fact, I love it. It's really tropical and very, very eclectic. You've got the high top tables back there in the back. I see a ton, in fact, but probably about a dozen high chairs over there in the corner, so you can utilize those throughout your stay. And then right here, they have these really nice chairs. And then further on, they have booths. Now this does continue all the way along to the other side, but this is half of it, essentially. As we continue on in, 
What you'll see is right here you have the buffet area. It's a really, really large buffet area. They're, they're all set up, of course, right now. Before it opens up, there's no food out currently. Uh, but all of these would have food options on there. You see right here is where they, they put the, the glass covers on it. And then as you come all the way around, what you're going to get is, in, in many cases, five to eight different kinds of food stations. You see the uh, oven right there. They have a pizza oven. They also have, well, for my favorite, for Al Pastor tacos. And then all the grills and griddles. And then continue along, you have more space over here. And then you have another cooking station right here in the middle. So continuing along, there's even more seating all the way down there if you want that nice air-conditioned indoor option. Another light, nice little touch is the restrooms right there. So you know, when you travel with kids, you know those kind of things. Always be able to run in and utilize that without having to go find another space. And then this also has a really nice large outdoor terrace area as well with fans. I'm a big fan of that. I love that they have several different seating options because every family, just like with picking a resort, they like to do things a little bit differently. And if you could do it the way you want, it's perfect. So now we're just inside of El Patio. This is the classic Mexican restaurant. You can tell by my sombrero right here, of course. I just wanted to point out that all of the specialty restaurants that they have here on site, you do not need to make a reservation ahead. That's one of the signatures of Dreams Resorts. So I just wanted to point out that before we headed into the space. Now, as soon as you head into the space, you see a beautiful Mexican restaurant. I love the decor in here. In fact, it's one of the most beautiful I have ever seen at an all-inclusive. The, the tile right here, you, I don't know if you can see the exquisite attention to detail, but just really enhances the experience and then all of the colors throughout the space. You've got booths over here to my left. You've got two tops that can come together for bigger tables. You've got family booths. And then in the back area, they can actually make it accommodate larger groups as well. So you're going to find all of the classic Mexican items that you love. And then here, what I love is they've also incorporated some of the local Mexican as well. So you can dig a little deeper, maybe beyond what your palate may be at home. But as we continue on through the space, you can see, once again, really, really beautiful. And uh, I think in Mexico, you got to have Mexican. So now we're just inside Himitsu. This is one of the classic dreams options. It's an Asian fusion restaurant. So you've got different varieties from Thai, Chinese, Japanese. You're also gonna have sushi on the menu. But the main attraction here to me are the hibachi tables. So as you come into the space, they have this really very cool modern Japanese decor on the wall. They've got neon lights on the far side over there that are really uniquely done. But the hibachi tables, you've got two in the middle here. You've got two more on either side here. So you've got them for smaller groups, also for slightly larger groups. And then continuing along towards the left, you're gonna have your regular seating. This is where you can order off of the, the, the menu that's not the hibachi. And then over here around the corner, you have a little more seating with booths and a continuation of tables. So if you love Asian food while you're traveling, I like this for families because it has a mix of different types. Like I said, you got some Chinese, Japanese, and Thai in there. So it's a nice balance uh, for everyone. All right, so I just rolled up in my Vespa, I gotta park it over here, and we are now in the Italian restaurant. Now this is the classic for an all-inclusive, and we know that pretty much every single member of the family likes something on an Italian menu. And so they doubled down on the space and the decor. It's a really beautiful space. They have all of these booths, which I think is synonymous with an Italian restaurant. You've got a really nice large high top table back there for parties of up to 10. And then throughout the restaurant, you've got the smaller two and four tops and also some bench seating over to the corner. But the decor really talks about what it's all about. It's about classic Italian dishes, also modern Italian dishes as well. And they even have a pizza oven outside, which is a great touch. Now, this is a large space inside. It's the biggest of the specialty restaurants. There is also a large terrace. They've got fans out there, quite a few different tables, and there's even a pizza oven outside so you can watch your pizza being made. So just next door to Portofino, you're gonna find Bordeaux. This is the classic French restaurant. The decor in here is actually really modern and very beautiful. You've got these beautiful chain mail chandeliers right above me. And then as you continue on, you see you have a ton of the bench seating over here, tables in the middle for two, four, can put them together for larger groups as well. But this is gonna be classic French, so if you need your escargot on vacation, this is the spot. So it is important to note that this is the only one of these specialty restaurants that is essentially adults only. It's 16 years and up, so not for the smaller children. You're gonna get a little more of an elegant affair in here. And right in between Portofino and Bordeaux, you're gonna find this beautiful wine lounge private room. So if you're looking for an upgraded experience, maybe a rehearsal dinner, a birthday party, or just a get together for somewhere up to 16 to 20 people, this could be a perfect option. 
So now we're just inside Oceana. This is a classic seafood restaurant, primarily for dinner. Sometimes they'll use it for breakfast a la carte uh, throughout your stay here. So you may wanna check on that option. But you can see all around, you have the beautiful nautical decor. You've got the net above the full service bar just in front of me. And then behind me, you've got this fishing boat here. So throughout the restaurant, you have high tops. You've got the low tables for two, four. You can expand them. You've got all the bench seating here. The beautiful art on the wall. In fact, I always ask my friend over there, what's cracking? And as we continue along, you can see even more of that nautical theme. They've got the, the braided ropes and nets throughout as well. In addition, you're gonna find outdoor seating on the terrace just in front. They do have fans out there as well. And then on the side, I just wanted to point out that you have this beautiful view of the mangroves that really remind you that you are surrounded by nature. This is Desire's sports bar, and then later in the evening, it does turn into a bit of a disco. So as you would expect at a sports bar, there's a really large bar. You have a huge horseshoe bar all the way around here, some great beers on tap. You're also gonna have large screen TVs that throughout the entire area. So you've got them all along the wall here, wrapped underneath, all underneath around the bar, and even some more tucked away. Gotta have the game on if it's gonna be a sports bar. Now I mentioned that this does turn into a disco later in the evening. The far side here actually turns into a dance floor. They'll move that stuff away, um, and you can have some good music, some relaxation, and a nice adults-only atmosphere in here. So we're now in the main entry foyer. Over to my right, you're gonna find the concierge desk. And as you enter the space, what you can see is that they've turned the entire entry lobbyway into a bar lounge atmosphere. It kind of changes throughout the day. Right here is the start officially of the Rendezvous Bar, a name that you're familiar with if you're familiar with Dreams and Secrets. And right here, you're gonna see the full bar and espresso maker tucked just behind. You've got different kinds of seating here. Here you've got some high top bar seating, some lounge seating, and then over on the far side, you've got several different types of chairs and couches. And right down the middle of it, you have this beautiful fountain that will be overflowing as soon as they finish it up here in just a couple days. So now we're in the main lobby where most people will check in. They've got some really nice seating areas here. Right here, they've got the larger day bed kind of configuration. And then continuing on in, you can see all the check-in areas. Now keep in mind, if you are a preferred club guest, you'll skip past this, go directly to the preferred club lounge and get checked in right there. On the other side of the lobby, you have more seating and it's kind of an extension of the Coco Cafe, which is just outside. So now we're just inside the Coco Cafe. This is always Taylor's favorite, as you know, because it is the coffee shop. They've got a great espresso maker. They also have brewed coffee for you. One interesting thing about this one is they do smoothies. I really, really love that. And of course, because the resort isn't quite open yet, we don't get to take advantage of sampling all the food items. And where that makes me really sad is my all-time favorite, the ice cream. But I know that this is gonna be filled with ice cream. Right here is gonna be filled with delicious sweets that you can taste during your time here. Now this is the perfect place to grab a coffee in the morning, especially if you're going to head out and play a game of golf, which is one of the inclusions of the resort. So one of the unique features about this particular Coco Cafe is that it has what I believe is the largest outdoor seating area as well. And then if you continue around to the left, you've got the lobby. So if you want that nice air conditioning, you can head in there as well. And there's some extra comfortable seating. So on the opposite end of the hotel from the lobby, you're gonna find the garden. This is a multi-use space that's used for things like yoga and different exercise classes. They even do games and things out here, but this is primarily utilized as an event space. So you can see there's a stage up there behind me, but you can have a cocktail reception here or even a wedding reception as well. So I was really excited when I was walking around the property and found that they did order those super special throne chairs that I asked for. So I wanna play a little Game of Thrones or well, just look out over my kingdom. I can sit here, it's even big enough. So one of my favorite reasons to upgrade to a preferred club room is this preferred club lounge. It starts when you arrive at the hotel. In fact, you're gonna go past the regular check-in. They're gonna take you right over here. Just behind me, they're gonna check you in in a very personalized fashion. And then in addition to that, throughout your entire stay here, this space just is access for those who are preferred club guests. So let me show you a little more about that. You've got the full bar over here in the corner, including a really nice upgraded Nespresso maker. I love Nespresso in the morning, makes me really happy. I always come in here for my morning coffee. Also, they're gonna have grab and go food items here. So kind of set up somewhere in between a continental and uh, you know grab and go breakfast. And then as you continue along, there's more seating areas all throughout. But one other feature about this that I wanted to point out is that the bar in here is upgraded beyond everywhere else in the property. So if some of your favorite drinks are on the top shelf, you may wanna check it out. 
Now we're just inside the beauty salon. Basically think about it as anything you can get at a beauty salon at home, you can have done here. Whether you just wanna have a cut or color or get ready to go out in the evening, maybe you also have it as prepare, preparation for a wedding. They can do any of those things here. You've got two hair stations here and then two on the back side, so there's four of them. Hair washing stations over there to the right. Right here you've got the pedicure stations, really nice and large, in fact, even big enough for my size 15 feet. Appreciate that, I do love a pedicure once in a while. And then right over here, you have the manicure stations as well. So I mentioned earlier about weddings. They do have quite a few different wedding packages and there's several places on the property where you can get married. If you're choosing to do that, this is one of the two bridal suites. It actually opens up here, there's a door that shuts off completely. So you can have two separate ones, but if you have a larger bridal party, you can take advantage of that as well. So they've got nice, comfortable chairs in here. You know, it takes a little bit of a while to get ready, so that's really nice. I know the mothers of the bride and groom generally really appreciate that. You got the hair station set up here, really set up nice and beautifully. And then of course, the dress. So when you are ready to uh, consider tying the knot here at uh, Dreams Natura and you're ready to toss the bouquet, you may wanna consider it. We're just inside the convention space and this is a massive amount of meeting space. In fact, it's more than any other AM property at over 17,000 square feet. Believe it or not, this can be opened up and have five different dividers that are all combined to host events up to 1,500 people, 900 people in banquet style. But for the most part, those aren't the size events that are always here. So I love about it, they have all the breakout rooms that you would need. Being a brand new resort, of course you're gonna have all the technology, the audio visual, and all of that kind of support. But what's unique about this particular property is they really can host just about anything, being a family friendly property. You can have big meetings and events where people bring their families. And in addition to that, um, you know, of course with the adults only pool, you can have that mix and match to really accommodate any group or corporation. So now we're inside the Showtime Theater. Over here to the left, you're gonna have the Showtime Bar. Right now you see coffee over there, but of course that's gonna be set up with a full bar that you can take advantage of for the shows. They do theme nights, all kinds of fun. In fact, my all-time favorite is the karaoke, and uh, apologize in advance for that. Uh, but up, up behind me, you can see you have the full stage. This combines when it's used for a conference area. This can also be opened up and made larger in here. But what this is really all about is that entertainment. That's just one of the aspects of all-inclusive that you come to expect and enjoy. First off, congratulations for making it all the way through the tour and thank you so much for joining us. We love that we get to share beautiful spaces like this with you so you can see what it's all about before you book and go yourself. Now this particular resort is a ground up new build. It is brand, brand new. In fact, as I mentioned earlier, we are here before anybody else. No guests are at the resort yet. So you can see the spaces completely. There's something for every member of the family. You've got a phenomenal kids club. The pool area is really, really large. But you know, of course for me, it's all about those water slides and the aerial tram ride. And of course, you're gonna find this dad in the lazy river. But whatever it is that you love about this resort, when you are ready to book this or any other Secrets or Dreams property, reach out to Har Travel. We know the resorts inside and out. We have a phenomenal relationship with AM Resorts and we know that we can create the vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends and your family at an incredible value.